we all have that game that we love and always go back to from time to time, right? Just to play it for a while until you quickly get bored again or remember why you quit in the first place. Maybe you're always trying new games out just to uninstall them after a few days or a couple weeks because it gets too repetitive and you don't feel like doing the same thing over and over until that legendary item drops so you can finally quit. The thing is that we are always looking for motivation or something that makes us feel good about playing these games, and sometimes just ranking up is enough. But when that's not the case, there are a lot of other reasons that make us enjoy our time playing and keep us motivated, although most of these reasons lead us right back to the start every time. For example, when a fresh start server comes out. I almost went to try a new world again when that happened, but I was too busy creating my 10th character in Classic WoW because the friend I was playing with kept changing his mind on what race and class he wanted to play. And that's what we are going to talk about in this video, some examples and outcomes to why we always start over, especially on MMORPGs. I'm gonna start by talking about the repetitiveness, as I already brought this point out at the beginning of the video. This is something that most MMORPGs adopt, so they can retain players for longer periods of time, and also make large amounts of money out of it by having a skip mechanism to get things done quicker with real life money. The grind, as we say, is something that most of us are familiar with already. But sometimes it gets really frustrating and the grind stops being fun and you don't want to pay anything to speed up the progress. So what do we do? We create another character to enjoy the game progression once more while we keep grinding the boring stuff on our main character. Or you're just like me and think that the first character you created is too weak, so you completely abandon it to begin a new one with different abilities and equipments. But either way, we're just starting over because the feeling of progression feels much better at the beginning, especially when we know what we're doing. Oh, but maybe you're not like that. Maybe you like the grind. You want to get that juicy piece of gear so you can show off to everybody, until you realize that uh, you can't progress without other people, and all the random people you meet suck at the game. So you have to engage in conversations and meet people that are actually good at the game. Find a guild, join a Discord server, schedule a time that is better for everyone. That's too much work. Why would I want to do that? I just want to play the game in two after a long day of work, maybe. I guess I'll just... Hmm. You guessed it. Create another character, but this time with a different class and race, so it's a new experience. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You actually like meeting new people and making friends while you play games. <laughs> good one. Your guild is awesome and you can do any content in the game with them. Until you start joining the guild's discord server every day and see people playing Minecraft instead. And a few others playing, I don't know, Genshin Impact and your party is playing either League or Valorant. And you, with nobody left to play but still addicted to the game, go ahead and create well. At this point you should just join them already. But you still open up the game and create another character to play solo. Only for a couple of days of course, before you actually quit because the guild discord is almost becoming a dating server and you're missing out. And just before I move on from this topic, I don't want to leave the classic out. It doesn't really apply to the genre we've been talking about, so I'm just gonna say this. Bro, it's your MMR. Your account is cursed already. Trust, if you create another one, I'm sure you have better teammates. Surely you don't play that bad. Whatever makes you feel motivated again, right? These are just some of the reasons that makes us want to start fresh or just quit, really. But on the situations brought up in this video, and in many other situations, I believe it's only us looking for something different in the same old game designs. It's just nostalgia at this point. We are just waiting for something that's still yet to come so we can feel like we did in the first time we played the game we love. But there's one problem. We don't have time like we used to. And we can't keep up anymore. Only to realize that the older you get, the worse you become at video games and the more you'll be victim of a TikTok kid making a clip out of you. And that's just how life works. But that's okay, having fun is what matters. And if no game makes you have fun anymore, 
and you're just stressing out? Take a break, look for a hobby, learn something new. The less you play, the more you'll learn to enjoy the time spent playing. And that's gonna be it for today. If you watched until this point, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me immensely. Also leave a comment if this video was relatable to you or if you have a different experience that wasn't mentioned in this video. Thanks guys, see you next time.